Well, guys, uh, this afternoon we got a real simple fix, guys. Uh, driver states that is uh, driver seat. The bag on it keeps deflating and the seat drops to the floor. So he's continuously having to, you know, hit that little valve on the side to raise that seat up. Uh, we we know it's an air leak, of course. Uh, we're gonna try and find out if it's the bag itself, the hose, or where the leak is at. So so we can go ahead and address it. Uh, it's a real simple fix, guys. Uh, hardest part is finding the air leak. Once you find it, I mean, the rest is basically very simple. Anybody can do it. So let's go ahead and try and find this one. Um, this particular unit, guys, uh, actual seat. You can go in, lift, and uh, let me see if I can give you a better shot of this. Hold on one second. Well, this one here, guys, uh, soapy water solution again. There you go. That little fitting on the airbag is basically leaking. So I think we just found a problem. Let me go ahead and get the part ready so we can go ahead and tear it apart and put it back together, guys. This is going to be an easy fix. The way we remove this one, guys, is you push down on this and then you push up on the hose. And there off now this is part of the airbag it's we cannot remove this little fit it's not a fitting it's part of the actual bag so we have to replace the bag guys so let me go ahead and put this back on sorry about that go back up and uh, let me get that bag and start tearing it apart here guys, first thing we gotta do is uh, we gotta undo this little safety strap bolt. Got one on each side, that way the chair can go higher. So we can actually access the piston through the back. After, uh, after we remove this, we're gonna raise it. We're gonna, we gotta put something here so that we can actually deflate and the seat will stay up. Find a way to keep this chair up in the air so that we can actually work from under and remove this bag. We're going to go ahead and replace a shock on it. It's got, it's got an airbag for the lift and then it's got a small little shock absorber so that the chair doesn't basically bounce too, too much. It'll give it a little bit more, it'll be more stable. So let me go ahead and remove those bolts. Both bolts are off, so let me go ahead and raise the seat. Okay, that'll give us a little bit more height. It'll give us a little bit more space to work under. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get you a better picture of what's under here, guys. Uh, I could easily remove the seat. Well, guys. This is the airbag, and the shock is in here. Let me 
me try and give you a better view. Oh, there's the airbag. And there's a little shock. So, that's a 17. Airbag is not that bad. This pin is this pin is what holds it in place. Basically, you pull that pin out, and the bottom is already released. Uh, it's a little bit out of shape, guys. So I gotta straighten it out with the pair of pliers. There's that. I'm gonna drop the seat just a bit. And now we can actually. You just go around and around until and the nut's off. That's if you wanna salvage it, you can. I mean, I don't know if all the bags come with a clip or not, but just in case yours didn't, then you might want to take it really easy and go slow on this. Ram around. Sorry about the lighting guys, uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand while holding the camera on the other, so somewhat tough, so there, we got that, now we got to undo the hose. Okay, we got this washer off, now for the hose. And depress and pull. Now all of the air pressure is on. So now we have to find a way of right, give me one second. Now guys, we gotta raise the seat and find a way to lock it in place. And there. Now we can just pull the bag out. Oh guys, and this here is the bag. It's a fire stand. The part that was bad is this actual fitting up here. But since it is not replaceable, well, we got to go ahead and replace this bag. I didn't have a new one in stock, but I do have a couple of seats that we were going we were gonna discard because the frame broke on. I'm gonna go ahead and salvage one of those uh, airbags from one of those two seats and bring it over and install it on this one. Now the one we are gonna install is brand new, is of course the little shock absorber. Uh, that little thing right there. I'll get you a better picture in a bit. Let me just get that airbag in place. And then we'll go through the front of the seat and you'll be able to see that uh, little socket over.
I guess let me go ahead and bring that other bag in so that we can go ahead and install it and continue with this fix. Well, let's found this one. Part number 329666-01. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get this one on there. And finish this one off. And again guys, it's pretty simple now. Basically what you do is you drop it back into place. There we go. I'm gonna get the top first so that we can go ahead and air it up and I'll just kinda wiggle it into the bottom. As I air it up, I will fit it into the bottom. And there you go, guys. All you gotta do is Set your clip back up. Top is done. All we gotta do is put the clip back in the bottom and the shock is replaced. Let me go ahead and get that as you guys can see, it's sprayed soap and no more air bubbles. Well guys, I kept the straps off of the seat so I can lift it as high as I could. Because now I got to get this little bolt right here off. And then there's another one down here. Let me get the top one first so I can show you guys. Well, that's one, and now, let's go ahead and get that bottom one. Well guys, there's the old little shock, and there's a the new little shock with a little hardware bag. It had bolts and sleeves, so let's go ahead and get that little sucker back on there, and uh, finish this one off.
eröffnet. Und jetzt tighten das schon ab. Go to the bottom one now. Sorry guys, I meant top one. Alright, let's get the sleeve on there. Alright, sleeve is in. Let me drop the bag just a tiny bit. And get the bolt in there. Sorry guys, I gotta cover the camera up because I gotta get that nut in there. All right. And we got a shotgun. So now we gotta finish up by bolting back the little straps, the limiting straps on the C bolt, little bolts. All right, guys. Well, guys, gotta lower the seat. And basically just. Basically, bolt the seat bolt back on. Mm. And we're done. Well guys, I think I've sweating enough today. Uh, went ahead and took care of this little seat problem. Uh, driver should be happy about this and so I guess it's going to be it for how to remove and replace a little uh, airbag on one of the driver seats and of course a little stabilizer shock. So appreciate you got watching. Hey, like and subscribe.